you, Jack. Thank you, everyone. How many of you in this room know what is Islamic Bank? Few people. Four, five, yeah, six. Okay, two of them. One is my boss. <laughs> the other is my colleague. Thank you, sir, for coming, Pak Purnomo and Pak Ari. And the other one is my partner, Pak Istamat, CEO of Esri Indonesia. So uh, Islamic Bank is the, is the other way to run the bank. This is a business, but the bank with no interest. So maybe you question, why customer interested to bank with the bank that don't give them interest? I will explain to you later, yeah? because this is, this is not about Islamic Bank. This is about how GIS enables sustainable growth in retail bank. Okay, let's start. This is our network in Indonesia. Indonesia is the fourth most populous country in the world with more than 260 million people. And we are the 16th largest economy in the world with more than 5% growth in economy. And the world's biggest Muslim population with more than 220 million. And the most important thing, the share of Islamic Bank is still 6%. So this is a very good pot potential for us to tap the market. How about Bank Muamalat? Bank Muamalat is the first Islamic bank in Indonesia. We established in 1992. We have more than 200 branches, 100 mobile branches, and we also have 710 ATMs. But the most important thing is we have more than 1.5 1 million active customers. And we have, as a result, 15% shares in Islamic banking in Indonesia. We have been awarded three times in a row best Islamic bank in Indonesia by Global Finance. However, there are challenges. We have challenges from external and also internal. External challenges. Indonesia has uneven distribution of population. More than 60% of the population are in Java Island. You can see this is Java Island. And most of our branches concentrated in Java. We also have unbalanced economic growth. And almost more more than 60% of the economic growth came from Java. Also, we have limited and scattered market data. Of course, the country is very large, 16, 17,000 of island. And this is the, the other challenge from all the banks around the world. The trend in digitalization and fintech. And the most important thing for us is we have a very tight competition there. There are more than 100 banks in Indonesia with tens of thousands of branches. We compete each other, especially in Java. And we also have internal challenges. We have a very wide but limited network coverage. If I want to travel, from our head office in Jakarta to our fattest branch in Jayapura. It is equivalent for you to travel from Singapore to Shanghai. So we have a, if, if, if we want to make sure that our strategy implemented nationwide, just the same as we want, this will require very high cost. 
we need to travel to all the branches to share them the, our strategy. We also have needs to implement system. For example, we need to implement GIS. But also we have budget constraint. And I think all the banks around the world have the same issues. Many regulatory system requirements that we have to fulfill first before we implement the other systems. And also, of course, just the same as uneven distribution of population, we also have uneven distribution of manpower. However, we have opportunities here. We can do our network optimization. We also can analyze the market, the performance, and do the improvement. We can do the customer behavior analysis. And we can also improve our sales productivity. And for the future, we should do the predictive analytics in order to align, to, to be agile with the market change. So what we have done? We have done our network optimization. In January 2017, we implemented ArcGIS. We optimized 64% of our ATM's cost without decreasing our fee income. And also we acquired 10% more customers with 40% less branches after we implemented ArcGIS. I really thank you to S3 Indonesia team, led by Pak Istamar. Give applause to them. <laughs> and of course, the management, because of, of their dedication to support this project. I never seen, I never seen that kind of dedication during my 20 years experience in banking. Thank you, sir. We also have done the analytics and decision management. We gather external data of POI, industry and demography. We do the analytics to combine external data and internal data. And we send new leads to our salespeople to get more new to bank customer. And for illustration, currently we acquire more than 1,000 new customers per day, equivalent to almost 300,000 new customers per year. <laughs> and we also have done the sales digitalization. We implemented MDirect. This is all-in-one productivity application for salespeople in their mobile phones, so we can track their productivity, their activity on a real-time basis. They can also the sales kit, the sales kit in their mobile phone to sell to the customers. This is MDirect. And this improves the productivity by 15%. And the last, we implement, we are implementing MGIS. M stands for Muamalat. Next, let me explain to you what we are doing now. So after implementation of RGIS in January 17, we have done our ATM and branch optimization, but this is just a start. We implemented MGIS phase one in June this year. It has enabled our bank to match each branch market potential, compare each branch POI with existing customer distribution, and also to identify the location, the exact location of the customers. And next, we are going to implement RGIS phase two. This is more advanced system app, more advanced app that en enables us to zoom more detail on our potential, market potential, and also the 
market share. Let me show to you some of the screenshot. So we can see here the potential businesses, the individual customers, the residential areas, the buildings, the businesses, hospitals, schools, and all of our target markets. We can, we can also map our competitors' location and compare with our location. And also, we can see combined with demography distribution. And we equip our salespeople with the collector for RGIS so they can tag the customer's location and send it to update the databases. So we can know, we know that whether they're going to the right direction or not. This is some of the video that I will show to you. But I think I should cut the video because it is two hours long. Almost the same as Avengers. Yeah, you can see here. Yeah. So we can zoom in the location of the brands. The darker uh, the color, the, the bigger the potential. Yes, you can zoom in. And you can see the location of the brands and the potential. This is the dashboard. We can see the demography of each city. Which city has the most population than other city? We can also do the market analysis. Which city has the more market potential than others? What type of customer that they have? And, al and al also we can do the competitor analysis, how many branches that our competitor have. This is the video, the visualization of the system. So if you select one of the city, it is highlighted in dark, and you can see how many branches of the competitors that we have and how is the market potential here. So in phase two, we do more advanced development with S3 Indonesia team. If in phase one, we can do, we can only do the mapping to the city level. Indonesia has thousands of cities. We are just doing simulation and estimation of market potential in specific area. What is the potential of this residential area? What is the potential of this business area? We do estimation. You can see dollars here. How many dollars will be contributed by this area? And also we can estimate our market share in that specific area. After that, we can map our financing loan quality mapping. We can do the mapping of lo our loan quality, which location is the has the better quality than the others. So we can focus on the that area. And we can also map our customer collateral distribution. For example, like in Lombok, we have disaster of earthquake. We can combine the data and analyze the potential of the of, of the destruction of our collateral there. So what's next? This is my last last slide. Don't worry. We intended to use the MGIS as one of enabler to achieve our vision. We can do predictive analytics to predict where the customer trends goes and also the analyze to analyze the customer behavior in order to do targeted marketing for specific communities. And we are planning to integrate the MDirect and MGIS. So the salespeople have the very powerful tool to go to the right direction at their mobile phone. And also, maybe it can support us for inorganic growth 
in order to accelerate our growth faster. And technology keep changing. We need to do future digitalization. All of these plans are intended to keep us as a back as a best Islamic bank in Indonesia. Thank you.